Hi, today's sponsor is the quote, you don't take a photograph, you make it, by Ansel Adams. Okay, photos. In this episode, I will tell you about five steps that I personally use to make a great and best photo. For example, this is a photo of the month of August that year, and this is the first part of the series. I will tell you point by point how to do it. First, remember, you don't, as Andrew Adam said, you don't take a photo, you make a photo. Because when you take a photo, that means, and it, it is awesome, that means you were in precisely that spot. You had to be in the precise time. You had to be like the time space continuum won't wait for you. You are either there or not. Everything will just simply go away. So point number one, create the opportunity. Like if you'd like to have a sunset photography or your portrait in a sunset or a sundown or in a forest, you need to make yourself an opportunity. You need to be there. You need to go there. You need to find time for that. Take a day off. Uh, ask your friend. Like there is so much stuff you need to do. You need to prepare and to actually take the, such a photos. Remember that you and only you need to be responsible for that. You need to take ownership of that. that yeah, it would be lovely to go with my friends there and there and there, do this and this and this, and take a photo when we are doing this, this or that. Remember, it's up to you to create those photos. Not just simply run around, run and gun as they say, and try to catch something. It might work, but it's not very deterministic and we would like to have 100% sure that we will do what we want to do. So this was point number one, opportunity and responsibility. Let's go with number two. Point number two, prepare. Think beforehand. If you are going for a festival, for a holiday, what would you like to see? What would you like to photograph? With whom would you like to photograph? How? There is a lot of stuff. For example, if you are doing any concert photography or you are photographing festivals, make a checklist. If you were, I need to find a redhead, a blonde, a brunette, or people holding hands, uh, a guitarist doing a power slide when they're having a concert, the vocalist jumping off the stage. All of that, it's it makes everything a lot easier and you will simply flow from one photo to another and you will know the checklist does make life a lot easier and it will flow naturally and you will know what to look for. So this is very crucial. Point number three, be in the place. Like for example, here, I'm not in the place in the end. So there's that. And I'm not able to photograph what they are doing, actually. Any crazy shit they are up to, I'm not there. So I won't be able to photograph. But at least I have a candid picture of how it looked with a nice background during the harvest in Poland. So there's that's great. So remember, be in the place. If you want to have a sunset photography in the mountains, well, you need to go to the mountains, visit, hitchhike, wait for the sunset or sundown, and then take a photo. So remember, be in the place. Number four. Unagi is a state of total awareness. Pay attention to the surroundings. Like this is one of those skills that pro photographers have, especially street photographers, right? Like everyone is always wondering, how did you see that? And like, no, it's not that I just simply saw it. Usually it's years of experience and searching for the subjects that would make a nice photo. It's not that easy. Like for example, this, as you can see, I had to be, we had to actually go with our friends for a trip. I had to prepare for that. So pretty much the bottom line, you need to take a camera. I had to be there instead of, for example, here. And I had to be aware of what is happening around. Of course, all the gizmos like this balloon filled with water or some water spraying stuff this also helps right because those are the props that make a photography and as you can see it's the it's my best photo i love it because it's yeah it's like moments before everything breaks and the shit goes down it's like a mexican standoff you know like in pirates of the caribbean when they try to shoot each other they wait for a minute and that's the tension this is my favorite fo photo from the summer holidays and yeah, I had to be in the exact spot at the exact time and I had to have a camera and I had to see it. So yeah, there is a lot of stuff going on in a single photograph. It's not that easy to take something like that, but if you are preparing what you are, what I am saying right now, this should be easy and there will be a lot more photographs you are proud of and you will be simply more satisfied because you were able to do it. So 
and pretty much the fifth point you actually had to have to have a camera and shoot meaning for example for this i'm running and gunning with a canon atd it's pretty huge i did it with 50 millimeter lens because it's pretty much very light so everything is bearable i would say but for example street photographers or if you want to shoot some candid photos of your city of your friends whatever buy yourself something small like an olympus fuji okay fuji might be a little bit bigger because this is an APS-C, but something from Micro Four Thirds would be great. The bottom line is you have to have a camera. Use your phone because you have always this with you. It's very, very easy. And you can just simply upload this uh, to any social network you want. So just remember that you need to have actually a camera. You always have to on your phone, but it won't be the same. But still, it's a lot better. I would prefer this photo to be as shitty, as great as possible, but that I would actually see this Mexican standoff here and to have this memory. So, let's recap. First of all, make the photo, not take photo. By Enzo Adams. Read about the guy, he's great. And create the opportunity, number one. Second, prepare. Make a checklist of what would you like to see in your photographs after you get back. Number four, Sorry, ugh. number three, be in the place. If you want to shoot somewhere, even if this is on your checklist, you need to actually go there. Number four, pay attention. It's like all those memes you see on the internet, right? Those photos that created the meme, it's pretty much a per perfect example. If you want to have a great, funny photography that everyone will like, try to think about what this photo make as a meme with some quote, whatever quote, you can always figure out the quote later on but just for or try a different approach first make a quote in your head just figure something out and then try to make a photo that will correspond to that and make a meme maybe this will work for you and number five have the camera with you like pretty much be prepared to take photo as i said have the camera and everything should be golden those are the those five things i will in the next episode somewhere around maybe a month create an affinity publisher simple tutorial where you can just simply download a nice pdf print it and before any holidays product photography or whatever you want to do you can just simply create a checklist with some examples and you will be able to do this on your own thanks for tuning in if you have any comments leave it in the comment section and bye for now